direct reaction of the 3D series elements with oxygen yields oxides of the first transition series metals. All of them, except scandium of course, can assume an oxidation number of plus 2, forming an ionic oxide of the type MO. As the oxidation state of the metal increases, the oxides tend to be more covalent. Now let's use manganese oxides as a test case, as manganese exhibits the widest range of oxidation states. Now the oxidation number of manganese with decreasing ionic character in manganese oxides would start with ionic at plus 2 oxidation state, plus 3 oxidation state, oh, we also have the 8 by 3 oxidation state, we have the plus 4 oxidation state and plus 7 which is predominantly covalent. Now transition from lower oxides to higher oxides corresponds to a transition from being basic to amphoteric to acidic. Now the oxidation number of manganese with increasing acidic character in manganese oxides would be plus 2 oxidation state being predominantly basic, plus 8 by 3, plus 4, plus 3 being amphoteric and plus 7 oxidation state being acidic oxide. Keep in mind that hydrolysis of acidic oxides gives metal hydroxy acids like HMnO4, H3BO4, H2CrO4, H2Cr2O7 and all of the others. Now oxides are insoluble in water. Some basic and amphoteric oxides though can dissolve in non-oxidizing acids like haloacids to form hydrated ions. Some amphoteric oxides dissolve in acids and bases to form dark colored oxometallic salts that contain anions like CrO4 2 minus, Cr2O7 2 minus, MnO4 minus, and others. They have a polymeric structure as against being purely ionic.